people really do have to know who they're giving their money to. So, you know, an absentee business owner, I don't think works in a business like ours. How to sell more cars. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the five minute sales meeting because no one, no one ever complained that a sales meeting was too short. We're brought to you by Dealer Marketing Magazine and the How to Sell More Cars podcast. Today's guest is Doug Meyer. Doug is the uh, general manager for the Meyer Automotive Group and the best-selling author of Selling in Your Town. In just five short minutes, Doug's gonna tell us how building honest relationships in your community, building deep customer connections, and serving the customer like your family and friends is just plain good business. The, the exalted ruler of uh, the Elks, the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks is the full go. name, but uh, they're an organization that's been around for about 155 years, I believe. Um, and a lot of the bigger towns have an Elks in it and they just donate money back to the community. They're big things about youth and veterans. And uh, every town that's had an Elks, we got a dealership in and I've got involved with them and I've held every chair that the Elks has in their local organizations, including the Exalted Ruler, which is like their president. Yeah. What I found out is in these organizations, if you support them, they'll support you. So once I get involved in these Elks, you know, and, and helping them and help them do different things, then they just want to return the favor and come down and see us and buy a car. Um, we've got three dealerships, all of them in small towns anywhere from a town of about 3,500 to what I was just telling you, this town's about 20,000 uh, that we're in, that I'm sitting in right now with uh, students and, you know, just getting involved. And it, it, it seems like when we come in, everybody just is giving us a chance and it's hard to sell them a car, but once we've been here for a while, they just want to buy from us. And then that makes it so much easier. You know, we tell all of our salespeople and, and all of us, we, we don't, post anything on our personal Facebook pages that could be upset somebody one way or the other. Um, so we try to stay out of the politics and all that. Um, we're in a college town and we're in a rural town. So, I mean, you know, you're about 50% Republican this town, 50% Democrat, you know, you don't want to take a chance of upsetting any side. So now I, there is a, a part in my book and I want to say it's one of the last chapters that says getting to know your customers. And once you get to know somebody, then you can relate in a different way one thing about them and how they are. You know, maybe some of those things you can talk about in private, but things, I mean, when the Walmart comes to town, everybody always like, oh my gosh, they're gonna put everybody out of business. And what I've really seen is, I mean, you know, your people that, you know, maybe you didn't have jobs or didn't have the types of, you know, it, it feels a void of, of jobs for one. Uh, in the community, which is good. It's a draw to the community because uh, it's bringing people now in from all the other surrounding smaller towns and all that. And if you have a business and you're doing everything right, a lot of things, like I said in the book, you're doing good customer service, all those things, um, they're still gonna come to town and buy from Walmart, but they're probably gonna buy from you too. Um, I've met in the car business, a lot of people got a lot of big egos and that just will not work in a small town. and. I've yet to see a dealership in the big town that it does work at very well, you know? Yeah. So, you know, everybody wants to deal with the good old boy, whether it's in a time big town and, you know, you need to try to be humble and try to be the good old boy and not think, uh, you know, you're better than anybody. And part of it, it says in there too, is, you know, a lot of it's how you dress. I mean, if everybody coming in is factory workers and you're dressed in a suit and a tie and shine shoes, that guy's going to be a little intimidated. So, I mean, you kind of got to dress, you know, accordingly, look accordingly, but always want to be, you know, clean shave, well groomed, you know, dress nice, but they always, I've always heard dress, you know, maybe about one step nicer than your typical customer. I've heard more of my commercials walking through my shop from the mechanics, having it on that radio station all day and all over town. That That's where the, they hear they're at work, the radio plays all day, and they hear my ads. Um, I always do most of my ads with my son, and they everybody knows my son's name and everything, and they like his young, cute voice and some of the things we come up with for him to say. 
Um, but yeah, radio has been good. For me, I'd say the biggest thing is getting to know your customers. Um, a dealership in Shenandoah, Iowa, which I hadn't visited much lately because we've been focusing on this one and now I'm going to. And if there's a customer sitting in the service lobby, I just go sit with them and talk with them. I mean, I don't have anything better to do. I mean, they're there spending with me. So I go out and meet them, talk to them. And, you know, I, I did work every day in that dealership. So a lot of them I do know, um, but, you know, just reconnecting with them, you know, and they, they just, I think people really do like to know who they're giving their money to. So thanks, Doug. And thanks to you for listening to the five minute sales meeting brought to you by Dealer Marketing Magazine and the How to Sell More Cars podcast. So here's your action step for the week. What I want you to do is I want you to get out into the world. I don't care if you go to an Elks Lodge meeting or the Rotary Club meeting or just down to the bowling alley, but find someone in your community and let them know they got a friend in the car business. We'll see you around.